Hi, my name is Monica Puig. We are here in St. Thomas the Apostle, which is where I came to school from third grade to fifth grade. This place has held so many great memories for me, and really helped shape me as a person and kind of gave me the pathway to my career thanks to some really amazing people. I formed a lot of really strong bonds and connections with a lot of the staff and the faculty here. Two very important people in particular, one was my third grade teacher, Ms. Figueredo, and the principal at the time, Ms. Baldor. They really helped me um, grow and develop as a young woman and pretty much helped push me towards my dreams and accomplishing my goals. The discipline that I learned from her all of the things that I needed to do in the class to keep up number one with the class because I was gone for tournaments or practices and there was no sort of special treatment. She treated me the same as she would treat every other student, which I think is very important. I was strict, but at the same time, um, I was pushing her and guiding her in that way um, by making sure that everything that she had to complete academically was completed because that's what I could control on my end. So. I wanted her to succeed. Ms. Figueredo was, was uh, hard on her, uh, and I'm so grateful because I want you to, to do well in tennis, but also at academics. It's the type of teacher and role model that a lot of, hopefully, the students look up to nowadays. It's, you wouldn't want to have it any other way. I have an older brother um, by three years. His school was a little bit further away than, than I was, so I would always get dropped off first. So that meant that I would wait in the hallway, and Miss Baldor, I used to sit right next to her door in the hallway. Usually I arrive before the custodial staff, and one day I heard a thump outside of my classroom. I opened the door, and there's Monica with her backpack. <laughs> Good morning, Monica, how are you? Here I am, Mrs. Valdor. What are you doing here? Well, uh, my mom dropped me off because my brother had to go to school. I said, okay, I'm gonna leave the door open. And that relationship began to take off for the next three years. Every morning, she will say, mom, it's okay, leave me at 6.30. I, I couldn't understand why. I, I started understanding the talks that she had with Miss Valdor and that she was there always for her. She needed somebody to listen to her and to be there with a smile every morning. And, and now I look back and I, I see that that friendship grew. When you begin to get to know a young child that has a dream, you, you have as an educator a great responsibility to mold that person, to guide that person for the future. She is somebody who's still very special to me in my life. The fact that she also encouraged my parents to help me pursue this dream, it made a difference because I think that was the first step towards all the success that I've had. It was really the, the first stepping stone to get there. In fifth grade, her demands became very challenging for her. The training was longer. The school was more rigorous for her. The conversations began what is our next step? And the next step was homeschool. Homeschooling, you didn't hear about that. So it was hard, you know, my family didn't support uh, us at that time. The only thing that really convinced us was that we will never know if we didn't pursue that. And she always said, look, she can always come back. We took her advice and we have never looked back. The moments that are impacting in an educator's life is when you don't know when you're going to touch someone's life. Monica taught me to always listen to a child. They have so much to say. And in the midst of that, to be able to guide them, maybe, perhaps, you touch their lives. Monica taught me dedication, perseverance, and being able to be flexible. One thing that has always been set in stone is with Ms. Baldor and Ms. Figueredo, if it wasn't for them and what they did to help me become the person that I am today, none of this would have ever been possible. So I owe them so much and I'm forever grateful. Hi, I'm Monica Puig and I'm here because of my teachers, Ms. Figueroa and Ms. Baldor. <laughs>